afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Cal Mohawk Show. I'm your host, Cal Mohawk. And... Sorry about that, I was just stretching out to reach something. I'm gonna play this game, because I can. It's, uh... One of those things that hasn't left me alone. And I was just entering in the code for 102% mode. Which is the hardest difficulty, which is the same as the normal difficulty, except for, like, one thing. Um... Anyway, this is Donkey Kong Country 2. And... It's the sequel to Donkey Kong Country 1, obviously. Let's see, what else to say about it? Well, DKC1 was a great game, and of course, they went on to release two more sequels, and then a bunch of other games. Uh, this is the only one I own for the original Super Nintendo. And I felt like playing it, if for no other reason than I was terminally bored that day. So, that leaves us here. So I'm going to play it until one of three things happens. Either I beat it, or my parents come home and I have to start making dinner, or my computer freezes. Ow, that wasn't supposed to happen. Usually I manage to cartwheel off of those two noobs. Uh, anyway. Anyway, yeah, if there's a freeze, of course, then I won't be uh, showing this at all because my computer won't have caught any of it. But otherwise, we're in good hands. Hands, whatever. Windows 7 sucks so bad. I had to do some digital piracy. Just to uh, get this far. Oops. Oh, pff. This is the first bonus level. It's not even that hard, and I fell down twice. Well, the first time I did it, I meant to fall down, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. How, do, how can I best explain this game? Um, Rambi. Yeah, indestructible rhino dude. He can heal pretty much anything. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. So apparently the plot of this game is after Donkey Kong made a fool of him, Captain uh, King Karul decided to become a pirate captain for no good reason, and he got a little bit upset with Donkey Kong, so he kidnapped him and uh, he wants the banana hoard in exchange. You saw the note that he left in the captain's cap, so I don't need to repeat it again, of course. DK coins. Oops. There we go. I didn't quite do that one. You're supposed to bounce off of what's his face. <laughs> Just grab a few lives with some infantineity. Um. Yeah. Considering I've been trying and failing to do some variety of recording on the SNES for a while, I'm not. That's why I'm not super excited in my voice yet. But that's okay. I'm sure I'll get more excited when I find like TNT barrels and stuff, because. Those are my favorites. And also when I start doing death-defying tricks. Or if Professor Ken comes in, he's always good for a laugh. Just not today, because he's been annoying me. For reasons I don't care to disclose. Nothing I deserve. Well, I kind of deserve it, but not really. <laughs> so, that's that. First creme coin, let's see. I don't actually remember where the warp for this level is. I'm not looking for it, though, because I don't need to warp on this level. But, yeah. There's one in F there's a warp barrel in every level of the first two worlds. Get rid of these guys. Those are complete chuckleheads. They're called uh clingers, I think. And they make the funniest noise, of course. <laughs> but I managed to stomp on one nonetheless. We get that coin. Thank you. I need one more. Fortunately I know exactly where one is. Usually I like barreling through those with a cartwheel. I forgot to. Let's see, single bananas always lead to good things like this two-up balloon. We And, of course, the trails of bananas are also good. Get up here. Da, 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 da. Stomp on him. He's a little bit difficult to step on, but I did it. Okay. Cannonballs are indestructible projectiles. They make good things to throw. Especially into cannons, because then they'll shoot you, too. Once you've loaded them up and they start flashing green, then you can get into a cannon minigame, which typically involves cannonballs. Alright, hold on a second. There we go, I love doing that. <laughs> it's actually marginally faster to just do five team throws in quick succession, but, you know, this isn't a speed... Th this is neither a tool-assisted speed run, nor an ordinary kind. We're just playing it for the walls, and because I happen to have... Well, there's one thing I could be doing that I'm not gonna do... At least not on camera, anyway. <laughs> and... And that's that! Dark of the Country 2! If you can't enjoy it, well, get GTFO. Because <laughs> we don't need your kind of scum. I don't need their kind of scum either. Thanks for that, Lando. 
Yeah, there's apparently a trick you can do. That's the one. I had it for a second there. Give me that star. Yeah. Also, I'm told using two ropes is mar- no. Two ropes is not marginally faster. That was the Mario- for the 94. Donkey Kong 94, whatever. DK- oh yeah, I haven't even explained those yet. Apparently Cranky Kong, who's in this game of course, because he's the proverbial old geezer who loves to complain about how everything used to be in the good old days. Yeah, apparently he hit those. Uh, and he wants you to find them all. Okay, here he is now. Yeah, and if you do find them all, he'll acknowledge you as uh, a hero. And he is backed by popular demand. He offers a few hints in each world, okay? The free ones are typically, uh, well, first of all, I only have to ever pass a paper in once. But secondly, um, each hint, I'm just gonna post, you can read if you want them, but yeah. Uh, each hint, the free ones explain, like, how to get, like, one-ups and such, and how are useful to see shortcuts. Whereas the ones that you have to pay for typically lead to, uh, have that and that. Oops, I didn't mean to press that button. <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh, the, uh, the free ones, they lead to one-ups and such. The ones you have to pay for lead to creme coins and bonus areas. And maybe the DK coin. Bonus barrel. Okay, let's grab the DK coin next. Alright, this one's a fun one. Just pick four chests and start chucking them at the zinger and hope that you get the creme coin one first. Otherwise, you get three bananas. Plenty of time. Red zingers are fun because you can't hurt them except, I don't know, maybe with TNT. But I wouldn't guarantee that. Yep. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I definitely didn't mean to do that. Wow, that's a high jump. Well, let me go back in here. Because, uh, the other thing about playing, uh, hard mode is that you get your other character back after you, uh, either succeed at or fail at a bonus level. So. First of all, I like playing as Diddy. And secondly, the warp barrel's right up here. We're gonna skip most of this level. Because we can't. It's too bad, too, because the uh, parallax scrolling, or whatever it does, the sun sets in the background. So, and that's pretty cool to watch. Get out of here. Here we go. That's a one up, of course, but we don't need it. We have plenty enough of those already. Bam! Find the token! Alright, it's not too hard to find. It doesn't even require too much me foolery. I got it in four seconds, just like that. All right. So yeah, that's most of the level for you. Well, I skipped the most of it, I mean. But there's like some treasure chests and whatnot. I missed the one up only because I was too hasty. But that's okay. Because I'm always watching my computer and making sure nothing bad is happening. Because if it did, I'd be upset. Uh, I don't think I have enough coins to visit here yet. Lockjaw's lockjaw. Uh, locker, oops. Well, you can get a whole bunch of coins in here. Banana coins, you use them to pay for stuff. Ow, why did I do that? I have no idea. I just walked right into that guy. Alright. I believe one of Cranky's hints says to go underneath this guy. So. So we're gonna do that. Now. Hit Lockjaw. He's an evil piranha fish. He'll get you every time. Elch. And I'm gonna break this open, because when I complete this bonus level, I have Diddy again. And I need Diddy in order to do stuff. Certain things. Um, but first we're gonna complete this maze. They give you 40 seconds, which is far too much, by the way. You really only need, like, 20. But, it's really easy. Just don't go where the bananas are. 10, I needed. <laughs> but they should only give you 20, I mean, because... Well, I don't know. Could, people might get confused to try to grab all the bananas, which is kind of pointless. Now I have Diddy again, because uh, beating a bonus level or even losing one will do that. Doink. Doink. Okay, I'm going to grab like five more coins before I have to exit this level. Oops. So let's go back down here if we can. We can collect the two, the two coins that are down here. That's fine and dandy. Then we can go up. There's one right on top of it. Banana bunch and a banana coin. Then we can go... Oh yeah, I forgot about those dudes. <laughs> we can grab two more coins and some more banana bunches. And this is the warp barrel. And since I have both characters, I'm quite fine with taking the warp barrel because that's all I need. And we're gonna skip three bananas and just hop on out with the uh, guard. I think he exploded on the uh, the thing. And up here's the DK coin, which is why I'm able to take this little shortcut. And life. Thank you very much. Do, 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 do. 
do, 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 do. Yeah, if Diddy beats the level and hits the target high enough, not only do you get what's on the pole, but he starts um, boomboxing, which is awesome. Kong College is the way you save the game. It's run by Wrinkly Kong, who's Cranky's wife. I have no idea how she puts up with him. Let's do this in reverse order. Area Guardian. Character team up. Rabby Supercharge. End of level targets. Swimming! We know how to do that, we just play the level. Kong Family Coins, those who have made a bunch of coins. And save the game, it's free the first time, then it costs two. 10%, excellent. Ding, 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 and I still have five coins left. Leave the college. All right, I did lock Joe's locker. We have to visit Swanky at least once. Take note of the old school B DK 1-Up balloons in the background behind the uh, in-between barrels two and three. And also a boss banana between one and two there. Anyway, Swanky plays the mini games. Uh, let's play the free one just because it's free. What is my name? You are Swanky, my friend. The first enemy you see is a furry rat. And then the name of the area would have to be <laughs> Gangway Garbage. No, it's Gangplay Galleon. Completing it will earn you a 1-up, a 2-up for the second one, and a 3-up for the third. Only the problem is the game is complete, so you can never play it again. Alas. Well, we don't need lives anyway, so we just played it for fun. Top Sail Trouble. Okay, um... Let's... Oops. I meant to hop in the warp barrel, but I forgot to do an air jump. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. I don't usually die. Okay, let's do this the proper way. There it is! See? It's funny how I remember the location of all these things, because I shouldn't. Anyway, this will pop us out right here. I can complete the level by getting an extra coin, then I can go back into it and get the stuff. Alright? Now, I should have grabbed the three up that's over there, but I forgot to. Oopsies. Okay, let's play it again. Alright. So yeah, the thing about Radley, who we're not going to use too much since I've decided to take the cheap route, is he jumps high. He can jump high, he can jump super high, he can air jump if you haven't jumped yet. Kind of like the di kind of like the Kongs are able to, uh, just jump this game. Three up blue. Alright, um, first stop, I believe, would have to be the DK coin, which I completely- Ow! I missed. Shucks. Well, now I just have to play perfectly, which is fine. Whoa! Here we go. See? get into here, and then I can go on up and grab the coin. That will refresh did it for me. Then I'm going to do a bit of a shortcut cheaty thing and barrel down to the first bonus level because there's two in this level. Get that coin. Thank you very much. Alright. Switch back to did it. Ow! I wasn't trying to do that, I swear. I got a coin. Though. That's cool. Let's hop on down here and eventually I'll land the barrel. Once I have the coin, I can start to select out. And... Get rid of all the flitters. Yeah, also the other thing about Rattle is he can jump on anything, including the bees. That's gonna be... Well, he can't jump on spikes, but he can jump on most anything else. Get out of here. I got the stuff. Well, pay off visit to Funky's Flights. He's how you get around from world to world if you need to. Uh, he costs two coins the first time, and then after that he's free. So, he's got a nice service he's running there. And now we go to Crow's Nest. The boss! You know, I'm gonna keep it as Dixie just because her after boss theme is, uh, better. Also, up here... Always somewhere in the boss level is gonna be hidden two banana coins. Get out of here, little brat. <laughs> I don't like Crow, as you may tell. He's easy sauce. You should have no problems with him, and if you do, I would have to wonder what's going on with you. Also, Dixie's better because she holds stuff on top of her head. Now, after two hits, he starts mixing things up a bit. The eggs kind of just fall out of his nest at random. Eventually, he will charge you if you, you know, don't grab the egg. Like this. Doink! Three hits. And, well, bam! Surprisingly, he's not actually the boss that takes the least number of hits, despite the fact that he's the easiest, but we'll have to get up here first. Yeah! Excellent. <laughs> I love doing that. 